First things first, um, you are going to have to do something in this session. Okay? Um, we wouldn't be researchers if we didn't take the opportunity to explore what all the expertise in this room has in relation to the questions that we're looking at. So you're going to have to do some work. Hopefully, it'll be quite a pleasant experience because you're going to have a chance to chat to each other. What would be great is if you have the opportunity to chat to someone perhaps uh, that you don't know. Um, so I'm going to leave that in your hands if you want to move around, about, uh, around a bit and work with somebody else. So, um, I'm Dr. Andrew Rob Clapham, Rob. this is my colleague Dr. Rob Vickers, we're from Nottingham Tank University and we're doing the research element onto the working on wonderful um, programme. Okay. Um, from this morning, from two key speakers, really interesting, important to have a shared view as to what good <laughs> looks like, and I say good and then put in brackets <coughs> outstanding, or outstanding brackets good, and the importance of sharing good practice. So two things that have come out of our key, key speakers' conversations already today. Okay, so I'm just going to give you an overview of what we do and what we're trying to find out about this. Okay? Uh, first of all, um, most of you or a lot of you would have gone to the Action Research um, uh, session where we went through uh, uh, mediating some understanding of what Action Research meant in relation to this project. Okay? Um, that's an important part, a, a key part of this project, because it's, it's two-folded, there's, there's two layers here. There's a layer of, of uh, your project finding out about the intervention, but there's also the process of you and your colleagues as researchers. So we're looking at both strands. We're interested in your progress and your, your journey as researchers, whilst also looking at what you found out. Uh, we're going to be analysing, and I love that acronym, the CLASS, uh, so the provider-led action research projects. Um, so we're going to be looking at every one of your projects individually, um, trying to uh, ex explore and examine how your project impacted in your particular setting. Then we're drawing all of those projects together to get an overview of the entire project. Okay. Um, a part of that is to provide the interim and existing. So these are the projects. Um, you should all be uh, familiar with at least one of these, I hope, because you should be doing one of these. Um, if not, if you're here just for interest, fantastic. But these are the actual uh, projects that we're, that, that we're working on. Okay? There's a wide range of projects, wide range of foci for the projects. There's also a wide range of geographical locations. There's also a wide range of collaborative uh, working, so providers working together, which is exactly what we wanted from the project. So in this session, this is what we're going to do. Uh, we are going to ask you what you think outstanding learning and teaching means. Try and make some difference between, there's some sense of this difference between good and outstanding, because there is a difference. Um, in, in the metrics, but also in the uh, discourses. Generate and analyse your data. So you're going to do some data analysis right here, right now, as the song goes. Um, explore similarities, contrast between what you talk about in this session now and what we've f found out at the very early stages of the uh, provider-led projects. Uh, examine what that means uh, in practice, and then we're going to suggest some ideas about moving forward. The one thing to absolutely stress is that Rob and I are not saying that we have the answers. The other thing to stress is that when we get to the bit later on where it says sort of what we found out, you guys are going to say, yeah. The difference being is that you know this to be the case. However, we've got evidence that this is the case. And that's what research does in this particular context. We've got, we've got a, a, an expanding evidence base that underpins these key headline uh, findings from the research projects. So on your, piece of, on your tables you've got some uh, flip chart paper, you've got some marker pens, you've got some post-it notes. So um, yes, we are educationists, so you, are, you can't do a session like this without post-it notes and flip chart paper, obviously. Okay, so this is what you're going to do for this first bit. On your table, you're going to have this conversation. And the conversation is going to be, what does outstanding learning look like? Okay. 
We don't mind how you do it, but we want you to capture that on your piece of paper. If you're in the mood, and if you are really uh, IT um, happy, uh, then if you want to also capture those things, um, and then email them to us at the end of the session, that would be wonderful. Either way, we don't really mind. Right. You have got eight minutes to chat, discuss, find out, get the answer to what does outstanding learning look like. Don't talk to each other.